What's up world, Raging Redneck coming at you again from the beautiful back hills of western Pennsylvania. So there was another mass shooting. Another mass shooting by a, an Islamic radicalist. Says so right on his Facebook. All the crowd heard him screaming Islamic propaganda bullshit as he was fucking doing it. And what does our piece of shit president have the balls to say. We are not at war with Islam. This is our fault. We have steps we could be taking, but nobody wants to listen to me. No one wants to listen to you because you're an asshole. Muslim goes on a fucking shooting spree, and we can't say that he's a Muslim. Black man goes on a shooting spree. You can't say that it was a black man, or a black man starts a riot. You can't say that it was a black man. Yeah. <laughs> Now, don't worry. I mean, if it was a racist white boy, I mean, we'd be blowing that up everywhere. We'd be banning a fucking Confederate flag. Oh, wait, we did that and all this shit. We'd have all these fucking political correct talks and all this hug and kiss bullshit. Well, I hope all you fucking extreme fucking left wingers are just happy right now. Because it's all your political correct horse shit that is killing people. All your fucking gun control and your gun-free zones and we can't fucking, we can't isolate certain people because that's not right. Well, guess what? How's that fucking working out for us? You know what's total horse shit? I've got some very, very close friends and family of mine. They were all accused of a crime years ago. They were all put on ice, no fucking bail allowed, no nothing. And they held them down. Three fucking years they held them. Okay? Now, after all of it, they decided, no, nope, we're going to drop all charges and just let everybody go. They lost three years of their lives. They lost three years of work, because they're all hardworking individuals. They lost three years with their fucking family. Yet this piece of shit was fucking... He, the feds went after him three fucking times between 2013 and 2014, he made all these fucking threats. Now, when they make threats, that's their religious fucking freedom. Rednecks make a threat? Fucking feds are beating on our fucking door. You know, another thing, fuck all you people out there blaming the damn guns. You know, here in the beautiful back hills, uh, Everybody is running all over. These Allegheny and Americans and me are running all over the fucking mountainsides. Armed to the fucking teeth. When was the last time you heard about a mass shooting in the beautiful back hills of western Pennsylvania? Yeah, I didn't think so. Now, I guess I don't think it's really fucking fair to sit here and say that we're at total war with Islam, or I'm not going to say that all Islamic people need to be kicked out of the country or anything foolish like that, but I see Islam a lot like my beloved uh, Confederate battle flag. Different people will use different things for different reasons, okay? I'm not a hateful fucking person, but people of hate have fucking used it. I guess Islam's the same way. See, these people just can't go out and be like, hey, I'm an asshole and I just want to fucking kill people. They gotta have this little fucking flag that they can wave. Oh, I fucking did it for this. Just fucking bullshit. I, for one, I'm fucking sick and tired of it. You know, the Department of Homeland Security released this video entitled uh, Run, Hide, Fight. You see this shit? Look it up if you're in the mood for a good fucking laugh. It tells you what to do if there's a fucking, sh if there's a, uh, oh, by the way, it is happening so much, there's a term for it now. It's an active shooter situation. What to do when that happens? And you guess what you're supposed to do? You run. Then if you can't run, run, you hide. And then if you can't hide, that, then you fight. Well, where I come from, we're bigger fans of run, retrieve, and then come to fuck back and fuck shit up. That's a problem. They just want to go through and neuter fucking everyone. No one's allowed to have balls in this country anymore. You know? To fucking In Texas a couple years ago, there was a fucking guy found a man raping his fucking, like, 13-year-old daughter or whatever the fuck she was, and he beat the fucking guy to death. And there were people calling for criminal charges to be pressed against this guy. I say fucking good for him. 
I think if there was a little bit more of that, there'd be a lot less of that. You know what I'm saying? Another quick piece of reality for you people. Quit thinking that a presidential candidate is going to save us from this. It's not going to happen. This is not a presidential problem, even though Obama is a total piece of shit in the way he's handling all this shit. This is not a presidential problem. This is society's problem. It's time that this country fucking wakes up. You know, they sit there and they bitch about you like, oh, well, you know, no one needs an AR-15. Really? Because the way that shit looks like it's going to me, it looks like everybody needs a fucking AR-15. And while we're on that topic, if the Ninth Circuit is watching this video, go fuck yourself. Trust you, Americans don't have a right to carry a firearm outside of their house to defend themselves. Are you fucking high? Listen, there are 27 words in the Second Amendment. It really doesn't take a big fucking calculator or magnifying glass to figure out what the fuck it's implying, okay? And if you're going to sit there and try telling us, oh, you don't need guns outside of your home. Oh, no, why would we? Fucking mass shootings going on everywhere from zoos to fucking malls to gay bars. Yeah, no, no, no. No no reason for us to be fucking armed absolutely everywhere we fucking go. Oh, you got to quit clinging to your religion and your guns. One day, people, that's all we're going to have left is our religion and our fucking guns. Which side are you going to fucking be on? You know, now it's bad enough that the lesbian fucking gay alliance or brotherhood, whatever the fuck it's called out there in fucking Phoenix, they're actually endorsing Donald Trump right now. Do you know that one? Just for the simple fact that, listen, this is what all you people too need to fucking realize, all you people that are giving Donald Trump shit for being a bigot. What you don't realize is you cannot like somebody or you cannot like somebody's way of life, but still respect them. That's possible. It's, dude, it's no different. Look at the fucking gay lifestyle. Am I gay? No. Do I support the gay lifestyle? No. But you know what? I respect the fact that some people do, okay? It's your life. You do what you fucking want with your life. Just don't push on me what you want me to do with mine, get it? So yeah, they're endorsing Trump because they want to be armed. They want to be able to defend themselves. And now, like I said, from zoos to malls, now fucking gay bars, this shit can, churches, this shit can go down at any time, in any place, at any fucking point. Run, hide, fight. We need fucking armed, fuck, we, we need to be armed everywhere, from schools, to churches, to the mall, to a movie theater. It's ridiculous, people. There's my take. You know, another big thing I'd like to bring up, too, was anybody else shocked at how fast the government had all these facts straight? I'm kind of sensing a conspiracy on that one. You know what I mean? Tupac and Biggie were killed in what? Like 96, 97, something like that. They can't tell us who killed them, but they can give us all this fucking information on this less than 12 hours after it happened. They like said, I'm, I'm smelling a little bit of a cover up there. We'll see what unfolds with that. Keep your children and your guns close. Save the hate mail, because I don't give a fuck.